All right, continuing our discussion on oops, Earth systems. Earth. Okay, we'll say Earth's systems. Um, to review, there is the atmosphere, the biosphere, the geosphere, and what am I missing? The hydrosphere. And hopefully you're comfortable enough that you understand um, the components of each uh, atmosphere, all the gases that's surrounding the Earth. Geosphere is all the layers of the Earth and all the rocks and minerals. Uh, the biosphere is all the life on Earth. And the hydrosphere is all the water on Earth, below Earth, and... Um, above Earth in the atmosphere as well. So hydrosphere, remember, will also include clouds because clouds are actually H2O. Um, and so the other important part of, of uh, eighth grade science at, at, in my classroom is to understand how these systems affect one another. And um, in the last video, I said that they were all interdependent that they all rely upon each other, and they all depend upon each other, and they all affect each other. Um, so in that vein, let's take a look at some pictures. And so here we have an example of, um, of a tornado. Let's see if I can get this to work here. Of a tornado. Let's see. There, whoops. Of, here again, here's the tornado. <laughs> and it's, it's going through an area and uh, tearing up this house and you know I would imagine that it is um, doing a lot of damage to the ground um, and to the to the trees and bushes so this would be um, atmosphere and depending on what types of destruction it's doing um, let's say it was the trees that that's a tree the trees that it's tearing down um, then that would be atmosphere affecting the biosphere. Okay. And so um, let's moving on. Let's go on to this next one. And so we have another one where we have pollution. And so the pollution <coughs> uh, created, created by these factories, I'll get the hang of it, created by these factories is man-made. So that would be biosphere. And the pollution going up into the atmosphere. So this is where uh, an example of biosphere humans affecting the atmosphere. And then let's give another example. And here we have what's called a mudslide. And what happened was that there was an extremely uh, extreme amount of rain in an area and it it uh, it affected the landscape and it created this mudslide and the mud went down the hill and covered this basketball court so this is um, an example of hydrosphere because it was the rain that caused this affecting uh, the landscape which would be the geosphere okay so we have all of this rain changing the surface of the earth and creating a mudslide and so we have hydrosphere affecting geosphere um, i think i might have one more oh here's one and this is a picture of the grand canyon and here let's get another color it's gonna work out here that's the colorado i'll abbreviate it colorado river and it cut through, um, cut through the Grand Canyon, and it created this huge, huge canyon. And and the water, um, over millions of years, you know, created this huge spectacle. So this is an example, another example of hydrosphere affecting the geosphere. Okay. And so you can see, you know, the Grand Canyon was 
being is, is was formed by this Colorado River over over millions and millions of years, and so um, the water rushed through and and wore down all of the rocks. And then I think maybe we have one last one. Yes, here we go. And here's an example of of uh, a man cutting down a tree, and of course the man would be biosphere, and the tree, of course, would also be biosphere. All right, so this is an, a, an example of biosphere affecting biosphere. And we can go one further. I mean, if we say that this was an example of deforestation, deforestation, then we might go far as to say that um, uh, that this the, the man is, is, is killing all of these trees and in turn um, increase, increasing CO2 in the atmosphere. Um, and that would be changing the atmosphere, all right, creating global warming, and then affecting, again, biosphere. All right, so those are all my examples. Um, we'll cut it right now. It's, and it's actually kind of long, longer than I thought. So, again, Earth systems, um, Earth systems, Atmosphere, biosphere, geosphere, hydrosphere, they are all interdependent and um, they will affect and um, change one another. All right. Thanks. See you on the next one.